Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to another edition of Coonhound Garage. I know it's been a while uh, since we've made a video, and it's because we've kind of taken a hiatus from working at the Coonhound Garage and kind of starting a, a second location, uh, slowly but surely. So we, we, Chase, Chase, say hi to the viewership. Anything? Hiya, bud. Chase and I have been down in Tennessee and we have taken on a project of cleaning up some property. Uh, it was very methish looking to say the least, but we've kind of been living off grid. We've uh, set up a, a nice little area for us to live in, got a little bit of shelter, shade. Uh, we built a dog house with a dog run that goes all the way around the back to the side. He's got a dog door you can go in and out. and. Uh, We've also set up our, we'll call it our closet. We have our storage connex here. We put a nice uh, door in that with solar power and lights and uh, got our dry storage in there, bug free. Very nice when you live in the woods. And uh, we put in all this rock for a driveway and, and kind of been working around here. Our uh, object we've been working on right now is our water tower. So we do have a six inch well here. I'm gonna to have to pull that up today it is uh, the day for that and replace the pump on the bottom of it. It's 200 foot deep from the county records and it's been pulled up halfway once before and my arms got tired and it went back down. So we're gonna try and get it all the way out today uh, to replace the pump. The pump is bad and the generator won't get it fired up. But while this was all going on, we started out, we were putting some concrete feet around our water tower that we built here and stood up. It's a big water tower. Uh, it's about 800 to 1,000 pounds worth of metal that Chase and I stood up and uh, built in the driveway here. And the store didn't have any cylinders or anything to put around the feet to pour the concrete, so I chopped up some buckets and uh, it's worked pretty well. We just pulled the first one off there. It started pouring rain, so we didn't get to the fourth one yet. We got to do that first. But as we were sitting there with the rain pouring down and I started to clean up Chase's area, it, it dawned on me that I had a lot of rain coming off the roofs here. I mean, it was coming down hard. So I got to work real quick, emptied out some bins, put them under the eaves of the, uh, the shed there and within minutes I had already pumped water into my camper filled up my camper that's good for another week worth of showers and everything else and even got several inches up in the water tower now here's the cool part you may wonder how much is that water tower really going to do for you in terms of pressure look at here folks We've got our hose hooked up. We've got about four inches of water up in that water tower. And if I can one-handed get this on, I'd say that's a pretty good stream of water. We got, uh, I don't know, the length of my truck plus a little bit. We're standing at the back of the truck and we're spraying to the front of the truck. So you've got 20 foot of water streaming out of this hose. We don't want to water the plants, so they just keep growing. Oh, so pressure-wise, what do we really have here? The elevation from my feet to the bottom of that water tank is roughly 20 feet. Uh, it's 20 feet, probably eight inches. We're looking at 10 psi any way you you do it. So 10 psi obviously is enough for a small stream of water to go. 20 feet more than enough to you know if you need some safety for your bonfire gets a little out of control or whatever else so we're looking forward to some more rain but won't be needed as soon as i get the uh the six inch well up and going that's got a, a four inch pump sitting at the bottom of it 200 foot down so as soon as that's uh pulled out replaced we'll be looking good we can fill our water tank instantly and then use that to do whatever we need so anyways thought we'd say hey haven't seen you guys in a while have a great day we'll catch you next time 